Hi everybody, welcome back to another Steam Deck video, and this one's about something you may well not have considered, and that's using your Steam Deck as a uh, simple PDF viewer. Now, I know there are much more complicated um, PDF viewers. If you go to desktop mode and go to discovery, search for a PDF and you can do stuff. However, the way that I do it, and specifically to read my 2000 ADs, because I've got a massive backlog, um, is I actually have a google drive um, folder that i that when i've downloaded my 2000 ad pdfs from the 2000 ad website from my account i then upload them to them and then that means i can just go for example here and i just go to the bookmark whoop, like that that then goes to the drive so there we go and then the latest one is prog 2101 so i just click on that it says one. there you go it loads it up and then i can click on these three dots here and then i go to click on there to go full screen and then we zoom in a little bit and then what i like to do is go to my brightness and just turn the brightness up a lot like that there we go and you get a really nice really nice brightness in it and it does look good now Obviously, what I've done previously in desktop mode, I've gone down um, and I've added Chrome to Steam so that I can open it up like this. And there's probably better ways of doing this. And I guess really you'd want to have it sort of um, in portrait mode, wouldn't you? Because obviously with, with comic strips, they don't always read, read left to right, um, do they? Or I guess with, um, with Japanese stuff, it would be right to left. Sometimes you kind of go up and down, don't you? It can go all sorts of uh, weird and wonderful ways. However, what I've found is for convenience sake, this is uh, this is all right. Because one of the problems I have is that I am a massive 2000 AD fan. I started reading 2000 AD probably round about prog. I think it was, was it prog 400? I don't know. I, it, I think 2000 AD started in 1977. And I think I started reading it in about 1984, something like that, when I was probably about 10 or 11. Um, uh, sort of that sort of age. Because I used to, before, before that, I used to read things like The Eagle and Warlord. <laughs> Still love them to this day. Um, and I, I, I read it for, I think I read it for about 400 to 500 issues. So it could have been like 10 years I kind of I read it for. And then I stopped reading it. Um, obviously, I used to just read like the, the, the proper sort of paper comic. Um, but then a few years ago, I thought, why don't I get back into reading it again? So I started subscribing digitally. But unfortunately, I've managed to get myself, I, I think I'm two years behind <laughs> with, with the comics. Um, but having it this way, where I just simply download and put them in that folder, and then I can just quickly get onto them, means that I can fire them up and um, read through them. And 2000 ADs, although it comes out every week, um, they're not particularly long stories. Um, and each th th there aren't that many self-contained stories either. So within each episode of 2000 AD, each issue, sorry, you'll have like four or five stories. And most of them are serial, so that they're continuing and going on. You get the odd Tharg Future Shock that might be a one-off. But what they've got really good at, I say recently, they've probably been doing it for a long time, is every now and again they'll have a let's start here uh, prog or issue where all the stories um, line up and they all start afresh at once, which is which is really cool. Obviously, 2000 AD, now owned by Rebellion, the people behind um, uh, Sniper Elite. Um, and it's good, it's good. I mean, I, I really enjoy 2000 AD. It's, it took me a while to get back into the pacing of issues in the fact that because each story is continuing but you still need a beginning mid middle of end in each five sort of um five um paper uh so, so each each story maybe say it gets five or six pages so it needs to have a beginning middle of end within that particular thing um but once you kind of got used to that again and i've forgotten how <laughs> how political 2000 ad is but it, it, it's great getting back into it obviously the, the art is is often stunning, um, and on the OLED screen of the Steam Deck uh, OLED, anyway, it look the colours look absolutely fantastic as well. So there we go, reading 2000 AD on my Steam Deck. Um, 
in a very simple way just by adding Google Chrome to Steam so I can open it up in game mode and then in Steam I just have a, a bookmark that goes to a Google Drive folder that I upload my PDFs to um, and then I can uh, uh, watch them and hope uh, read them and hopefully you can kind of get an idea with the OLED screen especially the whites are really nice and white and the darks are really nice and dark um, and you can um, obviously you can use your finger to move around as well so there we go hopefully you found this useful hopefully maybe this gave you a little, gives you a little bit i get an idea of using your steam deck as a pdf reader or a comics reader i'm sure that there's proper um readers for because there is a different comic format isn't there that you can have as well um but there we go this is my version of it so if you've got any questions or comments put them down below if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i will see you again soon